Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today we're playing Balloons TD6 as we push ourselves to the extreme and see just how far we can get by limiting ourselves to the most basic form of monkey. Because in a game where you go from a single monkey that can throw a single dart into a monkey manning a nuclear submarine, you can imagine that there's a large amount of power to be gained. However, what if we, the player, were to limit ourselves to just the most basic of monkey? How far can we get? And most importantly, can we break the game whilst doing so? So today, that's exactly what we're going to do, as I'm going to be limiting my abilities in video games to a much more comfortable level, whereby I can only use the most basic of monkey. Look at him, he's a cute little guy. And we're gonna make him do some incredible things. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to dive into this video, so make sure you sat back, relaxed, you have a nice warm cup of Yorkshire tea in hand. And if you're feeling especially fantastic, you can even like this very silly challenge. Now it's time for us to begin. And what we're going to be doing is playing on the standard hard difficulty for this map right here. It is a nice nice, fun, simple path where enemies come in from the top and then loop on around here and leave. Now, there's a couple of rules and limitations for this challenge. For a start, we are only allowed to use these standard dart monkeys and the upgrades that can come from them. That's right, this is the only monkey we're allowed. There are effectively a million monkeys. We could have straight up monkey villages. We could have superhero monkeys. We could have monkeys with Gatling guns, monkeys flying planes, and monkeys holding 50 caliber sniper rifles. Anything is possible, but why go for something incredible and impressive when instead you can just have a monkey with a dart. And so that's exactly who we're going to be using today, a good old fashioned dart monkey. Now we get a fair bit of money to start with, so we're just going to place our monkeys down in relatively decent locations. And for the time being, these three monkeys aren't exactly going to do too much. The game is very simple. Balloons are going to be coming in along this pathway. For every balloon we pop, we get one of these lovely gold coins. And then we can spend those gold coins on either more monkeys or upgrading our existing monkeys. Now there's many different types of dart monkey. As you can see, the dart monkey can be upgraded. You can have it so that the dart monkey throws darts faster. You can have it so that the dart monkey can see camouflage balloons and shoot a crossbow. Or you can have it so that the dart monkey ends up manning a catapult, which is the inferior siege weapon, of course. But this bad boy can still hurl a gigantic spiky ball. And we're going to be needing variations of all of these basic monkeys in order to actually survive. I mean, for a start, in order to even pop lead or ceramic balloons, you're gonna need a juggernaut. And in order to even see camouflage, balloons, you're gonna need this upgrade here. So we're going to have to actually get a little bit creative and upgrade our monkeys. All right, and I'm going to upgrade this monkey over here so that he can now see camouflage balloons. And I'll also make it so that he can shoot really fast as well. Lovely stuff. Now the basic monkeys aren't exactly anything too majestic. They're pretty basic. They don't do much damage. But for these basic level one balloons, they'll work perfectly. However, the game is only on round 10 of 80. And we can actually go beyond round 80. And the longer we go on, the harder balloons we're going to be confronted with balloons that go faster, balloons that have more health, balloons that have resistances, balloons that can't even be seen by the regular monkey. All of these challenges must be overcome because today we must reject humanity and embrace monkey. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one monkey over here and upgrade him so that he can shoot across the river and then eventually we'll give this little guy a crossbow. Then this monkey here we can just make him so that he shoots really fast then we can probably upgrade him so that he throws three darts instead of one. Fantastic stuff. Now this guy can offload a huge amount of darts and what we'll also do is make it so that he can throw his darts at camouflage balloons as well. Lovely. Oh, glorious. Now, it is, of course, getting slightly more difficult. Occasionally, balloons are making it past, but they only get to the middle and then we catch up to them. Now, I think it's time for us to actually try and create our first catapult monkey, and so for that, we need to get sharp shots and then razor sharp shots, and then finally the spiker pole, which basically, you know, just has this guy yeet a gigantic spike. It's not exactly very safe, but then again, monkeys have never really respected standard health and safety practices, so we're just gonna let him throw his gigantic ball of death and it'll do glorious things for us. Oh yes, lovely stuff. Look at him go. Now we almost have the money saved up where I can actually upgrade this catapult. Come on, just a little bit more cash and wha-bam, there we go. He is now a gigantic catapult of death. We can just watch as he actually throws his shots out. Look at them, they just kind of fly out there and they do damage in a gigantic pathway all the way over to the balloons, which is lovely stuff. We'll upgrade him so that he can actually see camouflage balloons because that's very important. And so far, it's looking like things are gonna go very well for us. All right, and next up, it's time for us to actually start preparing for the end game. Now, the end game for us is to have a very large amount of unupgraded dart monkeys. And you probably sat there thinking, Spiff, hang on a second, why would you want a load of unupgraded dart monkeys? They're not very good. And no, of course they're not, but we've got eight of them down here. And in fact, we actually just want an additional dart monkey. There we go. And all we're going to do is upgrade one of these monkeys right the way to the end of this so that he can become the Super Monkey Fan Club. And what this means is we get a lovely special ability that I think we can use every 30 seconds that converts 10 nearby regular monkeys into 
super monkeys, which are completely overpowered and really, really dangerous. Now, as we come towards the end of round 40, things are looking very, very good for us. We have a nice, efficient setup here with the catapult. It's doing lovely damage and popping large quantities of balloons. Ah, here comes our first Zeppelin. Now, this boy is rather dangerous. He's going to take a lot of damage to kill, and when he does die, he explodes into, you guessed it, even more balloons for us to pop. Now, this could actually become a problem if we're not careful, but I think we should be able to. Yep, pop him open, and there we go. Can we kill them all? Come on, please, please. No, oh my goodness, that was close. Okay, we need to up our damage game a lot. We can't save up for this super monkey. It's just gonna take too long. We need to get more regular monkeys up and running and working on the field of battle. It is very limiting not to have access to these other monkeys. Things like the ice monkey or the glue monkey, you can use them to slow balloons down. You can use mortar monkeys to fantastically suppress and pop large quantities of balloons in an AOE. Dart monkeys, very limited. They don't exactly do much damage, but you know it takes a bit of British ingenuity and then anything's possible. All right, and as we now draw ourselves into round 50, we're finally able to upgrade this monkey so that he is part of the Super Monkey Fan Club. Basically now he has this upgrade here, and as soon as this upgrade reaches the end, we gain the Super Monkey Fan Club ability, which we can spam off every once in a while, and it just turns all of these monkeys into super monkeys for 15 seconds, which is of course, as you can imagine, lovely and powerful indeed. In fact, we can activate it now, and you'll just notice all of this lovely damage they're doing, they can just shred through pretty much any balloon. Now, what's better than one Super Monkey Fan Club? Well, the correct answer is actually more Super Monkey Fan Clubs, because it turns out you can actually stack as many of the Super Monkey Fan Clubs as you like, provided you have unlocked multiple of the Super Monkey Fan Club monkeys. Well, that is a gigantic mouthful. But the concept is simple. The more you have lying around, the more of these you can store up and use them whenever you like. Like, for example, say, uh, I don't know, right now. And there we go. Look at them just shred for all of these balloons like no tomorrow. They effectively turn into Gatling guns, which, as you can imagine, makes them relatively powerful. Well, with an additional 10 grand in the bank, we can have another Super Monkey Fan Club. And what this means is that these guys can start saving up for this ability. You know, I'm just going to plaster the map with as many of these monkeys as I can. I just want a monkey everywhere, perfectly spaced out, stacked on top of each other. If there's space for a monkey, I'm going to put a monkey there. Those are my rules. And now you'll notice down here in the bottom left, we have two of these Super Monkey Fan Clubs actually saved up. This is because, yes, well, we just have so many of them lying around. Because whilst this guy can basically store up a Super Monkey Fan Club, this guy can be working on summoning in another one. And oh my, it's our first big red angry blimp. Now this boy, he might take a little bit to break down. When he breaks down, he turns into the blue blimps. And when the blue blimps explode, they turn into a gigantic quantity of balloons. But fear not, we will have him defeated in no time. There we go, he turns into these blue blimps. And you know what? It's Super Monkey time. We can just blitz our way through all of those. No problem whatsoever. And ah, yes, an absolute walk in the park when you have the Super Monkey Fan Club on your side. Now, what's better than just having two Super Monkey Fan Clubs? Why not have three Super Monkey Fan Clubs? And well, that's what we're gonna do. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just spoken to the boffins at Spiffco, and apparently we have a gigantic quantity of monkeys lying around. Monkeys that can throw dangerous weapons, and man basic medieval siege weapons. Consequently, the first 8,000 people to like this video will receive their very own dart-slinging monkey of death. Just be warned, we've partnered with the British government to ship this, and so your monkey could arrive anywhere within the next one to maybe seven millennia. Let's just hope we remember to actually put air holes in the delivery box. Anyway, onwards with the video. We've got some balloons to farm. Alright, well we're starting to make progress on these big balloons, but as we don't even have a Super Monkey fan club saved up, this is looking very, very risky ladies and gentlemen. Very, very, very risky. Oh my goodness, there's just so many of them! This is just ridiculous! Alright, we're gonna start up a Super Monkey fan club. We just need to clear out all of these balloons nice and quickly. There we go. Just break them down, please. Lovely stuff and glorious. Okay, final round. Here comes the ZOMG or the ZOMG. Basically the most powerful balloon in the game and uh, hopefully if we survive this we can continue indefinitely we're just going to need a lot more monkeys but here it comes the great big zomg all right i should be able to activate this super monkey fan club very shortly and it should hopefully start attacking it yes here it goes there we go look at them attack this thing down my goodness this is going to take a lot to break it but we're starting it they're down to the red balloons and some of the blue balloons are now popping here we go okay other super monkey fan club activate all of you go burst those balloons burst them all yes show them 
Oh no, yes, we did it. Glorious victory, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that one went very well. We placed 48 towers, popped 366,000 balloons, generated zero cash, popped 265 Moabs, and we used 25 abilities. And you know what? We're gonna continue. We're gonna keep on going. The balloons are gonna get stronger. The balloons are going to get faster, but why not try and challenge yourself? Push yourself to a new extreme. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we do have 12,000 gold in the bank now, but I'm gonna try and save up for this guy to become a crossbow master, which I think should basically turn him into a mini Gatling gun. As you can see, he's popped 37,000 balloons, which is lovely stuff, but we can make it better. All right, we're gonna have to start using some Super Monkey fan clubs here because uh, there's a lot of balloons to try and work our way through, like a very large amount of them. But hey, we should get some decent money for all of this. Uh, there we go, 13 grand in the bank. Okay, big old blimpy boys coming through next, lovely stuff. We're probably gonna have to use one of our Super Monkey fan clubs here, maybe multiple because there's just so many ceramic balloons. This is just a mess. Almost done it. 25,000 in the bank. Oh, and there's a zomb coming. Ah, oh, right. This is a problem. How do we kill you? Please die. Please. Oh god, there's two of them. Right, at this point, we have to cheat. Right, I dropped in a cash drop, so that gave me 2,500. So now this guy's a crossbow master. Now he's just able to shoot more. So hopefully with the increased speed at which he can shoot and the fact that he also has very quick shots, you know, he's effectively a machine gun, he can try and pop through some of these. There's only one way to find out. Right, come on, just try and burst through these. Yeah, I'll upgrade you to super hit monkeys as well. Good stuff. Just look at the spray of darts flying out the back end. My goodness. Oh my goodness. There's just so many of these zombs. What the heck is this? Okay, we're just gonna have to turn everything into a super monkey temporarily just to try and clear through this entire area. My goodness. What a mess. All right, this area needs to become super monkeys as well. We just need to blitz through the ceramics and fantastic. Okay, that's another level down. Round 88. Oh my goodness, this is also becoming a mess. Right, super monkey Monkeys, come on, just try and save me. Save me from this problem. All right, these top monkeys have turned into super monkeys. These bottom monkeys can turn into super monkeys. And there we go, that's everything sorted. Oh, splendid. Oh no, we've got quite a while until our next superhero appears. Oh dear, oh dear. This is basically now just a game of trying to manage when the super monkey ability can be used, uh, just to try and pace it against the endless wave of balloons, because the end is coming, I know it is. We just have to prepare ourselves for it. Oh my goodness, sorry, what is this? What is this thing? What is that? What is that thing? What is that thing and what is it doing? That thing is too dangerous to be left alive. Don't make it, don't make it. No! Oh, we'd lost so many lives just then. Oh dear, we've lost the vast majority of our lives. This is a huge problem. These balloons are just going through far too quickly. Just feels like there's nothing I can realistically do to stop them. They're just simply too powerful. Oh my goodness, okay, there's some big old ones coming now. This is not looking nice at all. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, well, super monkeys it is then. Let's see if we can take down some of these giga blimps. Oh goodness. This, this is just getting ridiculous. It really is. All right, we still haven't got one of those blimps down yet, but this is becoming a problem. You know what? I think we might manage it. We just might. As soon as this Super Monkey fan club ends, we'll just spawn in the next one. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And next one in. Come on. Yes. Good. Good. Do the damage. Do the damage. Burst those balloons. Burst them. Yes. Come on. Shred them. Oh, yes. Round 93 complete. By the skin of our teeth, we're still managing it. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it works. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. What are all of those? What all of those. What are all of those? Okay, this is it. This is it. How do you even defeat these things? How on earth? Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We made it to the end. We managed to pop 4,908 ceramic balloons. We placed 52 towers. We popped just under 1 million balloons. And we popped 1,000 Moabs. We also spawned in 7,500 gold to assist us via those powers used. And still, still it was not enough. We used the superhero ability 50 times and, oh, we can't even get past round 93. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. When it turns out, yes, you can beat the game on hard using just regular dart monkeys, but if you want to go further, you're probably going to have to start using some powers, maybe using a hero or two, or maybe you know something that I don't. So if you think you can beat this challenge yourself on this exact same map, then go send me on Twitter, at the Spiffing Bridge, your very own records. Because I'd be very impressed to see what some of you who have more hours in this game than I do can manage. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed my slow descent into monkey-based madness as we dealt with ever-increasingly difficult quantities of balloons filling up our screens and causing problems. My goodness, there was a lot of them. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, make sure to consider subscribing and also why not give it a like. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of our amazing patrons who make these videos all the more possible. Seriously, thank you very much, you amazing sausages. And hey, if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now. Hand chosen by myself to be absolutely perfect for you. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now, my friends.